Wow. Hi, um, uh, good morning and good afternoon and good evening. Um, so uh, um, thank you very much for your uh, joining this session. I'm Yoshi Emoto from Runisas, and uh, today I will go through about uh, my solution for uh, predictive maintenance uh, with Google uh, TensorFlow Lite uh, framework and um, uh, with uh, Runisas Motor MCU. So uh, here is today's agenda. Uh, at first, I will uh, go through about uh, what is a predict maintenance uh, with uh, AI and uh, its value, and uh, I'll show um, uh, implementation, how the AI will work with uh, uh, vector control, the BRDC sensorless motor system, and uh, I will show you uh, some video uh, how the system will work. And after that, I will go uh, some detail, more detail about the uh, TensorFlow uh, integration and uh, uh, the assembly at, at for the end, okay? And uh, predict maintenance. So uh, the, the message for the predict maintenance is kind of magic and uh, it's very interesting. Um, but for my case, for this uh, session's case, it's pretty, uh, um, it's pretty, you know, uh, good for their motor system. So in the uh, in the left side of this present this slide you are seeing right now, um, for there are some uh, trends and how the system will go to the end. Um, it, it's showing. This is a case of the motor system because the motor has a lot of mechanical parts. And uh, some parts will be, uh, you know, uh, destroyed, and uh, it it causes uh, some problem for the system level. So, in the end, uh, the system will um, down. Maybe you know um, doesn't work, and uh, basically a, a situation will be happen there. But uh, before that, maybe you will see uh, some another uh, another factor. Uh, to see some some problem on the system, uh, maybe uh, smoke and the heating, and some uh, unusual vibration will be occurred, and uh, so this is good to uh, detect and uh, what is uh, how the system has a problem. But uh, if there we have an opportunity to get uh, some uh, some signal a signature, their system behavior. Yes, the system is not normal. That could be a good for a maintenance perspective in a motor system. So, um, because uh, if uh, uh, we can see, we can detect the signature uh, the before a motor will go down, um, maybe re replacement of some parts should be easy. And uh, the cost for the replacement is maybe good for the your end customer. Um, also, uh, there are some uh, there are some story for uh, maintenance because uh, some motor system like uh, HVAC and uh, some you know heating and the cooling system, uh, there are some uh, maintenance people are working uh, to uh, maintain the system safety and uh, healthy. Um, there are some uh, idea for uh, a predictive um, because uh, today. Uh, preventive and uh, corrective action will be taken in the service, maintenance service. And uh, if we is predictive, uh, predictive maintenance could, uh, is possible, uh, uh, the maintenance people uh, can work with, uh, with schedule, uh, as scheduled. That's great benefit for maintenance people. So their cost may be smaller than uh, preventive and uh, corrective cases. This is a predictive maintenance uh, story. Uh, story. So, uh, for the motor system, I, there there are some failure mode in the motor. So, Rudas uh, has a lot of uh, motor MCU, and um, we ex already uh, tested and um, do do some some uh, simulate about the motor uh, motor failure like this access misalignments and the uh, imbalance of the weight. And uh, in, uh, for example, the compressor or something, 
as a belt uh, is getting loose. So this is uh, this is uh, the case of the motor problem, motor system problem. So for for this, uh, sorry, um, sorry, I, I had a too much jump. Okay. Um, so uh, if there, the, we can we can detect the motor's problem before uh, further a signature like a vibration, uh, unusual vibration. That's good. And um, but we have to think about. We have to consider uh, what is uh, uh, that, that easy to implement about the uh, detection of the motor failure. So there are some challenge uh, in this slide. So because a uh, motor, motor system, its hardware and the software, uh, their unique IP a developer has implemented. And uh, usually the motor system running with a real time and um, the protocol stack like a scheduled task is not implemented in the usual motor system. That one things. And the system like a, a microcontroller that is already optimized uh, in the existing design, and uh, maybe the MIPS and the memory footprint is already uh, matched matched to the system. So, if there we add something about the software for predictive and um, predictive maintenance type of things, uh, very limited space is uh, available uh, for additional software, and. Uh, the last things is uh, how um, how dear a designer uh, can uh, see about the uh, understand about the problem. So usually um, the uh, developer knows how the motor will fail, but for the data point of view, uh, so uh, there's there's there are additional uh, data long and the data set will be needed to uh, decide. And the only developer knows what is a normal situation or a normal situation. So um, this data will be needed for AI. So uh, to uh, to address this issue, there are some ideas from Runesas. Um, because in the case of a vector control BRDC a sensorless motor system, um, there are some points we can take. Um, for this is a, a system um, system a system block diagram, and uh, for drive the motor, there are some uh, current uh, measurement uh, is doing for the system usually. So uh, we can pick up this uh, current um, shunt current, and uh, this can be used for the AI for a detector failure. So uh, Runes is having uh, as some evaluation board for the motor, a specific motor system, and uh, you can see you can see some um, building block in the light side, and um, there's some motor, a motor um, microcontrollers and the inverter circuit, and the motor system there, and in the motor controllers. Um, if there's some space uh, for the software, uh, we can put small AI into this system. And uh, in a system level, uh, we can pick up uh, current signal uh, for the shunt current and detect the motor. That's a prompt I'm doing right now. So um, for AI can learning for various um, way, for example, the software can run in a uh, um, cloud side, and so our endpoint system, embed system can send some data to cloud, and uh, for the training and the inference can do the cloud. But for uh, the case for today's session, I'm looking the case for the uh, um, inference uh, should be done by motor side, endpoint side. And uh, there are some benefit for uh, this scenario because um, usually um, for cloud service needs some cost. Um, so, but for the 
if the everything can do in a microcontroller side, uh, you don't need a cost for the network. Also, the system uh, running in a real time and a deterministic. So the, it's easy for you to estimate about the system behavior. And uh, also, the, you can control about the pre-processing and post-processing around the AI. And uh, of course, uh, the cost and the power can be optimized because um, usually microcontroller, um, there are lots of microcontroller in the family, even Lunasas. So uh, if there, uh, you need, uh, for example, 100K bytes, so there are some another uh, product in the same family. So uh, for, this, for this scenario, you can optimize the cost for the uh, MCU. Also, uh, the benefit, and the benefit is uh, data privacy. Uh, so um, you you don't need to send the uh, real data to outside of the system. So that uh, may reduce some risk for privacy issue. Okay. So now I moved over uh, what uh, my uh, system looks like. And here is idea um, about the, uh, how the system will work inside of the MCU. Um, for motor MCU, usually uh, received some signal from UV uh, phases. In the case of a three-phase motor, and the AD converter will pick up the pick up the signal, and the other side, the P, uh, PWM, will be output uh, for the inverter system. So a motor system, a motor application is taking these parts, these elements, and for the AI portion, only one phase will be picked up. Picked up. And um, I, I'm just uh, I'm using only U, for example. And uh, for the U phase data, um, pre-processing will be done. And um, from these cases, uh, the FFT is running. And uh, um, I'm taking about the 512 uh, points FFT and um, for the uh, spectrum analysis. So um, after that, I pick up only 16 points. Um, usually uh, we search, I'm searching about the peak um, frequency and uh, pick, up, uh, pick up 16 points around that area. Um, this is because uh, in the case of a neural network, uh, neural network algorithm, uh, less input save memory uh, for for that for that purpose. So after that, um, a neural network will be decided. Okay, this is normal or not normal, and then we can have a result then. And now um, I integrated uh, the pre-processing and the AI and the post-processing uh, with motor. And for the pre-processing FFT and uh, some normalization factors and the humming windows is employed. employed. And uh, for the AI, for my case, for connected, uh, the convolution is implemented and the post-processing uh, moving average is implemented as, as for the example. So here is development flow for AI. Uh, for, for this case, um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using a tensorflow write for microcontroller as for the AI. And uh, to implement, implement uh, the tensorflow write, uh, at first uh, you need the data for the training. And so uh, at first you have to do a capturing data set um, for my uh, system, uh, there are some software to uh, software in the uh, uh, microcontroller side, and the send current pick up current signal, and uh, send to uh, a PC uh, for the data capturing. And so then you can you can uh, take you can get uh, raw data, and uh, with raw data start for the training, and. Um, so you can you can use a KLS or a TensorFlow uh, for uh, for my application, 
and I have some training tool, very small, portable um, training tool for easy to use. Um, inside with KLS, uh, KLS and uh, also a TensorFlow, there are some options to um, convert TensorFlow AI model to a TensorFlow write um, data format. So it's TF write format. And this is a flat buffer. It includes flat buffer information. And when uh, the uh, result and the uh, AI model will be fixed, and I move to a, a real deployment for the MCU software. Uh, so for that uh, application level, uh, you can have uh, some option to configure TensorFlow write uh, micro and um, so uh, also a TensorFlow interpreter is implemented and the Simesis neural network is working. And so this is the MCU software side. And uh, with IDE, with some compiler system, uh, the code will be um, uh, downloaded uh, to the MCU for learning. Yes, um, now I'm go by step by step. Okay. Um, whoops. Yeah, at uh, first the data capturing. Uh, so uh, there are some application uh, I'm taking. Uh, the Runes has had some small application to uh, to capture the data set of, uh, from a real-time system, a real-time motor system. And uh, this is called a, um, a data uh, correction tool. And uh, this tool um, working with, uh, this tool is running in a PC anyway. And uh, it's communicating with uh, uh, MCU software, and, uh, and after some pre-processing, um, uh, with or without um, pre-processing, uh, we can we can get uh, uh, real data uh, from uh, uh, from MCU. And um, for for this uh, case, I'm taking a, a normal case and a, a normal case. Um, because um, maybe you can understand about uh, what is uh, my demonstration looks like, and it's easy to uh, uh, pick up a normal case and uh, um, a normal case, a normal case. So I'm using um, 1,000 RPM and uh, 12, uh, 1,400, and uh, 1,600 cases for the normal and the normal cases. Um, so I pick up uh, this uh, data example. After uh, capturing the data, uh, start training and the verification. Um, for this uh, phases, uh, Renesas had a small tool um, to do that. And uh, there are some GUI here, uh, as you can see. And um, it's training with an uh, um, AI model and that data set. And there's some um, accuracy evaluation you can do. Um, and uh, I'm 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 using um, very small AI for this, and uh, when we can uh, get a good result after training and verification, um, you can put uh, your AI model into the uh, TensorFlow write uh, TensorFlow write portion. So as as I mentioned in uh, green uh, green uh, parts for this slide, the KLS training verification is done and. Uh, there are some conversion tool from a KL, uh, KLS to a TensorFlow write for micro and uh, with uh, post-training quantization. And um, with IDE uh, for the MCU, you can put your software into the uh, um, MCU. Um, for my demonstration, I'm using uh, uh, Cortex M4 MCU. It's a RS6 MCU from Runesas. And um, this guy has a, a 512 kbytes flash and a 64 kbytes Islam. And uh, um, 
I'm, I, I will show about uh, my demonstration. And uh, let me uh, explain about what is my demo is looks like. And I'm using, uh, uh, you can see some picture here. And uh, you can um, control about uh, this is normal or abnormal because um, there's some motor uh, board here, um, motor MCU board here. And uh, also the uh, it's connecting to the PCB. And so uh, there are some motor here and the road here. And uh, between the motor and the load, um, it's lava tube is deployed. And uh, there you can, when, when you can push down, push down the PCB board, the it's board is bended and uh, there are some misalignment of the axis will be happen. So um, I'm using, um, these cases as for the abnormal case. And uh, with pushing down, uh, this is abnormal, and the release your finger, it's a normal case. That's a scenario for that. And uh, for demo, I already captured all data and uh, I'm done in the training and deployed my software with the TensorFlow Lite uh, into the MCU. And uh, so the MCU is now ready for um, mot running motor with inference for the AI. Let me uh, start about uh, my video. Okay, now I set the, um, the motor with a thousand RPM and uh, move to a 1200 and I, I'm changing, I'm up the speed. And uh, this for this purpose, I'm just uh, looking at the light side of the uh, my application running on the PC and you can see the green, it's mean normal. So uh, if when you change it about the speed of their um, this motor system, um, the AI is still looking, this is normal. But now I'm pressing press down about the PCB board, then uh, the my AI detect this is abnormal. So uh, you, when I change it about the motor speed, uh, if the uh, when I press the PCB, uh, my AI application detect okay this is abnormal. Yes, uh, this is uh, 1400. And I change it to a 1600 RPM. And this, okay, this is normal. Okay. All right. Um, so the uh, I showed um, the uh, the system is running and the uh, AI is detecting uh, failure correctly. So uh, with uh, the AI is uh, running uh, with a real uh, data set. So um, for this case, it's uh, it's working perfectly. So now I move to the uh, how the uh, I implemented how the system has a TensorFlow write. Uh, in the integration process. So uh, first, uh, let me talk a bit about uh, what is a Google TensorFlow Write for Micro. Um, for AI, uh, to develop the AI model, um, I think you are using uh, TensorFlow and uh, Akelas, PyTorch, the, uh, this is a framework. And the Google TensorFlow Write is uh, made for uh, MCU and um, good uh, compatibility with the uh, TensorFlow, a uh, senior TensorFlow here. And uh, there are some, uh, uh, there are some um, um, gap uh, to support uh, the operations, uh, but uh, anyway, TensorFlow Write for Micro has a good uh, compatibility with the uh, TensorFlow. And uh, perfectly it's made for microcontroller means um, it's work with a bare metal system and uh, you don't need a real time operation system. And uh, because of this is, of course, this is an open source project and uh, you can uh, see, you can take uh, pick up about the source file from uh, GitHub 
and uh, also the, even today, uh, you have a lot of example from uh, TensorFlow Write for Micro GitHub. And um, this uh, the program is updated uh, many times, and um, so uh, uh, new features and the new implementation uh, can be expected. And also, uh, uh, this TensorFlow Write for Microcontroller has a uh, has a supported has been supported for the uh, SIMSYS and then from ARM, so it has a good combination for uh, um, um, MCU. And uh, low memory footprint and the optim easy to optimize system. So um, because because uh, TensorFlow Write uh, has a lot of operation, so uh, many operation you don't need. And so that you can pick up the operations you want you want to take, and then you can save your memory. And uh, it's it can be uh, done by done easily for your software. And uh, good things for the TensorFlow Write for Micro is it support the post training quantization. Um, so I so if you want uh, save the memory. Um, so you can take this option. Uh, of course, there are some uh, trade-off uh, with accuracy, um, but for my case, it's work fine. And uh, lastly, and the C++ 11 supported for the compiler. Um, so the MCU toolchain can support, I believe. Um, to see C++ 11 is not new, and uh, I, I believe there are many uh, compiler from uh, MCU uh, prayer is supporting uh, C++11. So uh, more detail, you can see their website for their uh, TensorFlow Write. Um, the, you can see the URL here. So um, this is what I, I did um, during the integration. And uh, when I uh, fix about my uh, model and the good training, and uh, I'm putting uh, this model uh, for TensorFlow Write and uh, K or Kalas, and uh, with post-training quantization option, um, I put uh, this configuration to the TensorFlow Write converter, and then um, I'm getting the uh, flat buffer form, uh, flat buffer information as for the uh, .tf, uh, .tf write file, and uh, after conversion, this is for uh, C alley for your easy integration to your software. Um, I put uh, this uh, source code for the TensorFlow Write interpreters, and uh, with application and the SIMSYS uh, neural network DSP and the SIMSYS core. Uh, with BSP uh, for the MCU, I put everything into my IDE and create uh, AI-based motor application. So this is uh, how um, I organize about uh, um, my IDE because um, TensorFlow Write um, GitHub, uh, you can you can download the source code for the uh, TensorFlow Write for Micro, and um, so then uh, you can see a make file for that. Um, but for the, my environment, um, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, um, IDE uh, for Runesas is is 2 Studio, and um, so usually the idea has a, a little bit different uh, flavor about the make file. So you have to take a look about the make file, and um, so you uh, you can put the you can uh, move uh, the required information into your IDE configuration. So and the source code itself is pretty uh, organized uh, for TensorFlow Write, and uh, I'm. I'm keeping the uh, structure for uh, directly uh, as, as the same as a uh, source code. And also TensorFlow Write and need third party software here. So I put this and uh, BSP and uh, SIMSYS from ARM and the motor application 
uh, I put everything into the IDE and compile them. So um, the operations, um, as I talked earlier, um, the TensorFlow Ride has a good option to select operation. And this is uh, good. I can see the big, big benefit uh, for uh, saving my memory in the microcontroller. Um, so here is uh, some example uh, in my case, uh, how the, uh, my um, software, how much I need for, from a TensorFlow Write Micro. Uh, for my demonstration, uh, just for uh, five operation I needed. So I selected this operation for the initialization, soft, um, initialization code uh, for a TensorFlow Write for Micro. And uh, it's a mut uh, mutable option you can see, you can have. And in the case of all option, uh, all operations option you take, um, for my um, system, I need 162K bytes. Uh, but um, when I selected um, the uh, operations uh, you need, uh, it's just, it's, uh, the memory footprint is down to 25K uh, bytes, briefly. And uh, of course, um, there are some uh, debug information and uh, there are some source code changes, uh, possibly, and uh, the number may be uh, valid, but uh, the message here is uh, um, you have a good option to reduce your memory for the AI portion. So uh, this type of uh, this information is already discussed in the uh, uh, TensorFlow right uh, website. So uh, please take a look about this URL. Okay, as for the summary for my uh, sessions, uh, initially I talk about uh, predict maintenance, and uh, this is good. Um, this is good, and uh, um, when I when the system can detect the problem earlier, earlier stage, uh, this is good solution for predict maintenance, and um, it reduces the cost around the maintenance service. Now, and the BRDC, a centralized motor, is a good example for a predict maintenance uh, with uh, AI, and uh, it's fit uh, for system level, and because it's a shunt current monitoring can be possible. And the TensorFlow Write Micro is good uh, AI solution for this type of the system uh, because of the smaller memory need uh, requirements and that uh, you can save your memory. Also uh, with ARM MCU, you have a good choice about the newer network option by Simsys NN. For a lot of things, um, I'm now cleaning up my uh, code and uh, I'm preparing some documentation. So it will be available uh, from uh, Runsas website uh, in October, um, late October. And I am now uh, working for the uh, application notes and the sample project. And the data correction tool for data capturing and the training tool for training and the verification. Those are already available uh, from a Runes uh, website. So please take a look about their uh, website, runes.com slash EAI. And then you can see a more video about uh, what the RuneSAS is doing for the AI. Also, uh, there are some application use case for documentation. Okay, um, I go to my presentation and that's, that's all from my side. Thank you very much for your listening.